So if you're in screen printing, you've probably heard of woven wire mesh, but is it the best for the job? When is it not? I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name is Andrew Kotlar, and at WS Tyler, we pride ourselves on the quality and versatility of our stainless steel woven wire mesh. As a company that has been weaving and working with stainless steel wire for over 150 years, we have seen an endless amount of industries use our mesh. And one of those long-standing industries is the screen printing industry. There's different kinds of media that can be used for screen printing, but stainless steel mesh has been proven to be one of the most efficient and cost-effective options. So in this video, we'll go over what screen printing is, the many benefits of stainless steel woven wire mesh, and when wire mesh might not be the best choice. Screen printing is a printing technique that uses mesh to transfer ink onto a substrate. A blade or squeegee is moved across the screen to fill the openings in the mesh with ink or paste. A stencil will block parts of the openings in the mesh to create a design on the print surface. When screen printing originated back in the 1600s, silk screens were used to transfer the designs. The problem with using silk as a screening media is that over time, it doesn't hold up because it swells up and tears. So today, the most common media for screen printing is polyester polyester, nylon, and stainless steel. So there's quite a few reasons why stainless steel wire mesh is ideal. It benefits tensioning, stability and durability, uh, heating capabilities, cost savings, and calendaring for precise printing. Tension is pretty critical. The media serving as the screen is stretched tightly before the squeegee with ink is run over the screen. Stainless steel has less than 1% elongation, while other materials like nylon or polyester have more than 5%. So if you were to try and stretch nylon or another synthetic material at certain tension levels, it'll stretch the square openings into rectangular openings, which could tear and cause inconsistencies in your printing. This means that stainless steel woven wire is able to be tensioned or stretched at very high rates without changing the shape of each individual individual opening. Stainless steel wires are also more stable than polyester or nylon. It can withstand hard conditions, even at the smaller opening sizes and thinner wire diameters. And with nylon or polyester, again, there's a limit to how fine or thin you can get your individual threads down to be because they just can't withstand the tension and stretching that's actually needed. But stainless steel woven wire can be drawn out to a very small diameter and still be able to be stretched and tensioned without suffering any alterations to the mesh itself or the process. So there's two main ways we've seen stainless steel wire mesh reduce cost in this industry. The first is the available options with wire mesh in terms of weaves. These different patterns and weaves can allow more ink to be deposited in one pass, eliminating the need for multiple passes for each print. Each time a pass is needed, there's a risk of not having it line up precisely with the last pass. And there's also, it's just spending more in time in ink or paste. The second cost saving benefit is you're using very expensive ink or pastes. That wire diameter is critical to reducing costs in terms of paste or ink needed. The stainless steel is able to use a very limited amount of paste to transfer. And stainless steel can be made with very thin individual wires that still offers very high connectivity. When the amount of paste needed can be reduced to such an exact amount, this can save companies using expensive paste like silver in the solar industry significant money. One of the biggest challenges with the screen printing process is movement within the screen. When the squeegee passes over the mesh during the screen printing process, it can push the wires forward. This can create discrepancies in each print. If you were to compare print number one to print number 1000, you'll definitely see they don't line up. Calendaring the wire mesh before it goes into the production can help reduce this movement that happens during the printing process. So calendaring is the process of placing the wire mesh between rollers that sort of flattens the mesh to a predetermined thickness. It stabilizes the mesh and also creates a smooth, uniform surface because calendaring actually crushes the knuckles of the mesh together, which eliminates the amount of movement you get from the wires during your process. So if this is done, you can see a major improvement in repeatability in your prints by that elimination of movement. So cost will differ depending on your exact needs, but you can expect to pay anywhere from $3 to $15 a square foot. Here's some of the questions you should be asking yourself when thinking about cost. You should be thinking, what mesh count do I need? Do I need my mesh calendared? Do I need it cut to a certain size or on a roll? If you know the answers to these questions, you should have no issues getting an exact quote for your woven wire. 
When it comes to choosing the right media for your screen printing needs, it's always dependent on your application. Although stainless steel woven wire can be a great solution for so many screen printing applications, there are situations where other types of media may be a better fit. If you're working with fabrics or stretchy surfaces, nylon or polyester is probably going to be a better media for you. Unlike stainless steel mesh, polyester or nylon have the ability to form to soft surfaces. Woven wire mesh is typically more expensive than nylon or polyester, so if you need the durability and precise features of stainless steel, this makes it a great fit for you. But if you don't need those features for your application, then synthetic might be the way to go. And if you're printing on very fragile materials like ceramics, wire mesh may damage the surface. This is another situation where it may be better to go with a synthetic material. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.